Crews at the University of West Florida have been busy working on upgrades to athletic facilities. WKRG News 5's Alexa Daly talked with the athletic director about what these new projects, which one students are going to see on campus. New artificial turf at Penn Air Field and renovations inside the field house. Just some of the upgrades as students get ready for the start of the fall semester in just over a week. We'll have two sets of bleachers, which we haven't had in a number of years. Uh, we will have video boards in there uh, and just just a new uh, remodeled front and floors around fresh looks. It's going to be very nice when we get open here in about a couple of weeks. The additional seating in the field house will allow the university to host more events beyond just volleyball and basketball like pep rallies and commencement ceremonies. And the additional seating is definitely going to be needed. Uh, we had over 10,000 applications for school this year, first time ever. They had to they had to cut them off. We're somewhere between 15, 14 and 15,000 students, so probably the largest the University of West Florida has ever been. And that's not typical for what you're seeing around the country for colleges and universities. So we're excited. In April, the university also broke ground on a 10,000 square feet sports medicine center, which will be equipped with treatment space and hydrotherapy areas. The price tag for the new center and the field house upgrades about 12 million. The university says those upgrades will allow them to continue to recruit the best athletes and students to the university. You want them to have a good environment to go to school, a good atmosphere, a great campus community to be a part of, and we think the things we do will create that. In Escambia County, Alexa Daly, WKRG News 5.